Hi, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Thank you for joining us for today's Wednesday Wisdom. We're going to talk about the disability assistance expense. Now, in order to apply this deduction, first, there has to be someone in the family that's disabled. Does not have to be the head or the co-head or the spouse. Just anyone in the household who's disabled. Secondly of all, someone in the household, including the disabled person, must go to work. Okay? And then thirdly, what we can account for is going to either be attendant care or auxiliary apparatus. So first, a disabled member in the household, we can account for dependent, I'm sorry, attendant care or auxiliary apparatus, and someone has to go to work. Now, these expenses have to be anticipated, unreimbursed, and reasonable. And lastly, the deduction, the 3% of the annual income threshold, has to be met in order for the expenses to take care. Now, in some, in some cases, you may have a family that qualifies for both medical and disability expenses, and you would have to apply the 3% to both. The easy way that I remember this is applied in alphabetical order. Disability comes before medical. So you would first apply it to disability and then apply what's left over to medical. Here's an example for us to do together. Ms. Smith pays an attendant $150 a week to stay with her disabled 22-year-old son so that she can work. So first of all, do they qualify? Yes, someone's disabled, someone's going to work, and it's for attendant care. She makes $500 a week working at Starbucks. So we're gonna get our annual income, which is $26,000, and then we're gonna take 3% of that for our threshold. And our threshold that has to be met before we can subtract any deduction is $780. Her cost, her cost for the attendant is $7,800. And when we subtract $780 from $7,800, we end up with $7,020, which, by the way, is less than what she's bringing home. So they would qualify for that amount as a disability assistance expense. In our next example, Ms. Smith, who's 63 years old, pays an attendant $50 a week to stay with her disabled 22-year-old son so that she can work. These expenses are reimbursed at $49. She makes $300 a week working at Starbucks. The family has $1,200 in unreimbursed medical expenses. So this example, we have both medical and disability assistance expense. So first, let's get her annual income. It is $6,600. Let's take the 3% threshold for that, which is gonna be $198. So we have to spend this $198 up first on disability, and if there's anything left, it goes into medical. So her disability expense, she's lucky enough that she only pays a dollar every week. So that's $52. We subtract 52 from the 198, and we're gonna have $146 left. And we have to apply that to the $1,200 before we can use it. So 146 minus 1,200, gives us 1054. So in this family's case, we're not gonna give them anything for disability expense. It was all eaten up in the 3% threshold and they're gonna get 1054 for medical. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Enjoy your day.